What is going on you guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having a fantastic day in today's video as you guys can tell we are in the figure update preview program uh yes i'm a bit late to uploading my preview video of the brand new season 9 update that is coming out soon uh today's video we are going to be taking a look at the battle pass and some of the new features as you guys can tell i have the new ak on my back and that is probably what we're going to show off first is the AK and the grenades, and then last, we'll show off the battle pass. So if you guys do enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like down below. Let's try to hit 100 likes on this video. It would be very much appreciated. Then also, I notice a good percentage of you guys are not subscribed. Make sure to subscribe. It does help the channel grow and go a very long way, and it is very much appreciated. So uh, yeah, without further ado, we are going to get into showing off the AK... A74 KSU is what this is called. I believe it is similar to the A74K is what I'm getting from it, from the name. So uh, we are going to pull it out. I'm going to show it off here really quickly. Not too bad. Also, I'm wearing one of the new outfit sets that you get. I believe this is level 1 outfit set on the premium battle pass. So uh, you also get a level 51 as well for free for the free pass. But this one is probably going to be one of my favorite outfits ever. Probably going to be one of my favorites. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show off some of the gameplay of this AKA 74 KSU. 30 round mag as well. This is the iron sights. Because I know a lot of people like to use iron sights, so that's the iron sights. It kind of reminds me of the UKVZ mixed with the A74K. The recoil and the bullet spread reminds me of the UKVZ, but the power, the strength of the weapon reminds me of the A74K, which makes sense. It is a similar weapon to the A74K. Alrighty, so that is the A74 KSU. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and catch you guys when we are in an encounter. And I'll show off the grenades, which is one of the biggest things I am excited for if we season 9. Finally have grenades for people that want to hide behind corners. So uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in an encounter to test out the grenades. Alrighty guys, so for those of you that are wondering, there was a big theory that red airdrop crate boxes did not exist anymore well i just found one here as i'm waiting for bard to open so i can get some more extra grenades to show off in this video but for those of you that were wondering yes the spare airdrops they're still here they're still in crates so for those of you that don't know or have been wondering yes they still exist in season nine or they will exist in season nine i don't know if they exist now but i think they do I couldn't find any more grenades, but I was seeing in the comments of the dev stream that people were wondering if you throw grenades through closed windows. So we're going to go ahead and test that out for our first grenade. Now with grenades, you can only bring two since it is a gold tier and uh, it is a one shot kill. So be careful. It is a one shot kill with grenades. So uh, don't get too close, which I'm happy it is one shot since you can only bring in two, encounter, bring in two per encounter. So let's try to throw it through this window here. Let's hope we don't miss. Yeah, right there. Oh, it has a little red symbol too. See? Not too bad, not too bad. So let's go and throw one out in the open over here so we can get another test real quick. Now let's come out here to the open. There's a little dirt clearing. So you guys can see the effects. This is actually pretty cool, pretty cool. And definitely is going to be helpful for PvP when people are hiding around the corners. Go ahead and throw it. You can't throw them pretty far. They do bounce off of stuff. Awesome. They do bounce off of stuff. If you are close to it, it will kill you one in one explosion. But if you are have distance or cover, you'll take damage, but it won't kill you. But uh, it's pretty pretty awesome. 
I'm really excited for this update, so uh, without further ado, let's go and check out the Battle Pass. Season 9 Stalkers. Stalkers are the children of the apocalypse. They were born to survive in the Outlands, equipped with powerful grenades and formable A74 KSU. Shadows shadow them across the lands and discover the enhancements they bring. So this season is Stalker. That is the theme of this update, which is a dark survival survivalist kind of update, which reminds me a lot of DayZ. So this is a really welcomed update for me. I'm excited for this update because it reminds me a lot of DayZ and uh, some other survival games as well. Especially this first outfit here. It just screams DayZ in my opinion. So this is the first outfit you get in the premium battle pass tier. Um, I believe the premium battle pass is the same price as it's always been. Uh, I believe it's 690 crowns, I believe. I, I can't remember. I always get mine for free. Thanks, thankfully, from being a partner. But uh, yeah, this is the first outfit you get here. I'm just going to scan through this. I'm not going to have too much time on this. Um, this is a gas mask that you get, which I'm excited for this gas mask because this is one of the gas masks that were in the trailers a long time ago when the game was first announced to released. So happy to see this gas mask in here. Now we got a Defender mask combined with a green helmet. Another cool little outfit cosmetic. And then we got a skin for the Rafika, a rusted skin, which is apparently one of the new uh, lines of skins that we have is now rusted, which is brings that kind of survivalist kind of like feel to it as well And then we got the combat mask gas mask that is separate from the outfit itself the outfit set that you've seen So that's pretty cool as well and Then we've got a bag canvas satchel Brand new bag kind of reminds me of the office bag or one of the bags that you get uh, already, but it's a bit bigger and bulkier, so that's kind of cool. Don't, not a big fan of the color of it. Half mask respirator. So we got some more like kind of respirator kind of masks, which this one's pretty nice. I, I actually like this one. And then we got a bandana, a camo bandana, bandana. And then we got a rusted gal, which is pretty cool. Another skin for the gal. And then this is the title you get at level ten. Not too. Not too bad. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Reminds it is uh, pretty much the level one outfit. I want to say, pretty cool. And then we've got a new outfit. This is Zone Patrol Rugged. It is kind of like a military kind of outfit as well. I want to say, reminds me of a military kind of jacket. I want to say. I don't know. I like it. It looks pretty nice. Still Daisy-ish feel to it. So I'm excited for this one. Then we got some face paint, which I believe I will actually show the, all these after because I still have the outfit set on. But uh, we now have shrapnel wounds as face paints. So you have face damage instead of actual face paint. So that's kind of cool as well. I'm excited to show you guys that. So we got a bandana gray. Then we got a rusted MP5, which the MP5 kind of looks pretty cool rusted. Kind of like that look. And then we've got the... The grenade is called the M67 plan, is at uh, level 15, so you'll get the grenades at level 15, so that's pretty cool. And then we got a Stalker Peacekeeper, this is another color variation to it, which I believe this is the one that I was wearing, I don't remember, I don't know, no, I was wearing another one, but this is another variation of it. Then we got another variation of the gas mask, another color variation. Then we got a brown canvas satchel, so that's pretty cool. A rusted sawed off shotgun, not too bad, not too bad. And then this is level 20 title. For any of you guys that like this one with the little AKs on the side, that's pretty cool. And then we got another zone patrol, this one is called veteran. This is a grayish black color with uh, not too damaged, it's not damaged. This one's just a veteran, so the other one's rugged, so the other one's damaged, this one's not damaged, it's a bit more clean, um, kind of dirty, but still a bit more clean. Some more uh, survival face paint, 
Then here at level 23, we have another bag. This one is a bit smaller, but the detail of this one is actually pretty cool. We got some shotgun shells uh, in the little hoops of the satchel part. So that's pretty cool. You get some little detail if you want to bring in a shotgun loadout. Bring this back and you'll have it kind of seem like you have some shotgun shells loaded. So that is a pretty cool little cosmetic as well. Then over here we got another combat gas mask. This one is worn in a grayish color kind of damage. So that one's another cool one. Then we got a rusted AK at level 25. Oh no, this is the new skin for the new A74 KSU. So uh, that's pretty cool. We got a rusted skin for that. And then here we got another tactical black lava. This one is shadow. It's kind of a white and gray camo. So that one's pretty cool as well. Then we got a half uh, mask respirator. This one is black. That one's pretty cool. Then we got some another one of these bags. This one is tan. Then we got a rusted silvery pigeon. That one's pretty cool as well. Kind of gives a dirty-ish kind of rusted vibe to it. And then this is the level 30 title for anybody that wants that. This one is zone patrol camo, which this is probably going to be the favorite for most people, especially people that like to hide within bushes and stuff. So that one's going to be pretty favorable, I want to say. And then we got uh, another face paint that I'm going to show later. And then we got another satchel. This one's a gray color instead of the tan, so this one's gray. I kind of like this one better. And then we got a rusted MGV. I'm really going to like this skin. I'm probably going to use this skin a whole lot, the rusted MGV skin, so I'm excited for that one. Then at level 35, you get the A74 KSU plan. So for anybody that is excited for this weapon, you'll get it at level 35. Then here we've got another mass defender. This one is called Night Ops. It is a uh, the black baklava mixed with the camo black defender helmet. And I noticed these defender helmets do not have the defender face part of it, so that it's kind of like separate, which kind of makes this look like a daisy kind of look too as well, which I like. Then we got another half mask respirator. This one is olive. And then we've got another tactical black lava. This one's kind of like a desert camo look to it. So that's another pretty cool one. Then anybody that uses the crossbow and likes the crossbow, we got a rusted crossbow skin for you here. Then at level 40, we get another soccer title. This one is platinum. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Then we got another canvas satchel. This one is blue. Then we got tactical black lava. This one is a blue camo. And then here's a new cosmetic, a new face wear cosmetic. This one is called Muzzle, and it is Rusty. So that one's pretty cool. It kind of reminds me a uh, half of the uh, hockey mask. So that's pretty cool. This one is probably going to be a big favorite as well in the community. Then we've got a Rusted AKM. For anybody that wants to use the AKM and likes the AKM, we got a Rusted skin for that. A level 44. Then we have a black kind of colored gas mask. I'm, I'm really excited for this one. This one's really nice. And then we got another uh, another Defender helmet with the ski mask. This one is actually my personal favorite uh, Defender helmet. So this one I'm probably gonna rock a lot with uh, some outfit ideas I have. Then we got another muzzle. This one is black. This one's probably going to be the main one that people use and enjoy. So that's the, the muzzle in black variation. And then this one, the combat gas mask. The one that is on all the, uh, I believe it's on all of the outfit sets. Uh, the level one outfit. So this is the main one right here. Black, clean, not too damaged, nothing. So that's pretty cool. I, I really like this one. And then we got a rusted SVD. For people that like the SVD, got a rest of the SVD. And then this is level 50 stalker. Um, gold, I believe it's a, uh, no, diamond, diamond, I mean, uh, title right here. And then at the free tier level 50, you get 150 crowns, a gold crate. And then this one is one of, the, probably gonna be my favorite one out of all of the stalker outfits, which I'm really excited for. But uh, yeah, that is gonna wrap it up for the battle pass. 
Alrighty guys, that is gonna wrap it up for the video. Hope you guys all did enjoy. If you guys did, don't forget to drop a like down below. Comment what you guys think if you haven't already. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos here on the channel. This was some uh, this was some uh, gameplay of the new season nine and what's to come. This was a little preview, so hopefully you guys all did enjoy and are excited as I am for season nine. Um, this update is gonna be awesome. I'm I'm really excited for it and I'm really excited to see what uh, grenades bring to vigor. Um, there's a couple different other changes. Portables were fixed. Um, stacking of consumables. You only bring one now whenever you select it instead of the max stack. So that's pretty cool that they fixed those. And uh, there's a couple new other new bug fixes and issues that they had that they were able to get fixed. So uh, yeah, this was just a video of previewing the battle pass and the main new gun and grenades. So hopefully you guys all did enjoy, and uh, yeah, hope you guys have a fantastic day. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Outlanders.